Hey everybody, I'm here with another tutorial video. So this is a coal hopper from the Lionel BNSF coal train set that I recently reviewed. And in that video, I talked about how sometimes I like to add weight to my cars to make them a little heavier and give them a little more heft as they roll down the rails. And I especially like to do that with coal cars because they should be heavy. And so it's nice when you can feel that heaviness and see it as they go down the rails and they're not popping and bouncing all over the place. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to add a little bit of weight to one of these coal hoppers. Now it should be noted that as they are, they are just fine. In my mind, a good weight for an O scale freight car, more or less is 14 to 16 ounces and these came in right at 15 ounces so they are just fine the way they are there's nothing wrong with them I'm just gonna make them a little bit heavier now there are a million ways you can make a car heavier because all you're doing is adding weight and there are countless numbers of ways to do that but here's how I do it I've got my little weight kit here so on this side I've got a bunch of washers that I got at Home Depot in various sizes these are the largest ones, these ASC ones. These weigh about one and a half ounces a piece. These ones here, the AOBs, weigh about one ounce a piece. And then I've got some smaller ones. And these are what I normally use to weight down my cars. Now, you can use other items, and something else I use from time to time are wheel weights, the kind of wheel weights they use when they're balancing the tires on your cars, or balancing the wheels, I should say. So. These are one ounce iron weights that have an adhesive back. And then these are quarter ounce weights that have an adhesive back. And so these are nice for weighting down cars too. Now normally I only use the self-adhesive wheel weights in specific situations like this. So this is a Weaver gondola that I got not too long ago. It's a really nice car. It's got these drop sides. Really nice detail. Beautiful car. But as is the case with a lot of Weaver rolling stock, it's kind of lightweight, especially with plastic trucks like they have. So what I did is I used some of those wheel weights on the bottom. And I used the wheel weights here because obviously there's nowhere up top you can put the weights where they won't be visible unless you put them up here and then cover them up with a bunch of junk. But what I'll do with cars like these where you need to have the weights in an inconspicuous place is use those little flat wheel weights on the bottom. So they come in handy for jobs like this. However, for something like the coal hopper where we've got a big space on the inside that nobody's ever going to see, I can use the washers. And the washers are what I normally use to weigh down cars. But like I said, there's tons of ways you can do it. Today we're going to use the washers. So before we start, let's bring out the scale again. I'm not sure if you guys can read it from that angle, but just to get a base weight before we start, 14.9 ounces. And again, that's a perfectly fine weight for these cars. Nothing wrong with that. So we're going to be adding two of these large washers to the interior of the coal hopper. The code on these is ASC. I think these codes mean something. Every washer has a code, but I don't know what it is. Maybe someone does, but these weigh just under one and a half ounces each. So when we're done, this thing will weigh almost three ounces more than it does now. So we'll pop this open. Now, there are pros and cons to using the washers versus the wheel weights. Uh, the washers are less expensive and they're very plentiful. You can go to Home Depot and get a million of them and you don't have to order them from anywhere. You know, with the wheel weights, you usually have to order them on Amazon or somewhere and you have to wait for them. These you can go to Home Depot and get right now. Now with the washers, I have to secure them down with CA glue or super glue. So it's sort of a permanent installation. If you ever wanted to remove them, you would be able to see where there were weights once before because it would obviously damage the interior of the car a little bit, removing that super glue. Whereas with the wheel weights, those are self-adhesive and you can remove them and not damage the car. So if you ever want to sell the car or something like that and you want to remove them, you can do that. And for the most part, you might have to wash off the adhesive a little bit, but they won't leave big scars like the washers will. However, the self-adhesive ones are not as dependable because the adhesive can get old and fail and they can fall off. And so because we're on the inside of the car here, nobody's ever gonna see it. I'm just gonna use the CA glue because I want them to stay there for a while. I don't want them to fall off and I can do it because like I said, nobody's gonna see it, but you can do whatever you want. So this is really easy. I've got some CA glue here and I've got some Instaset in this bottle. 
and we're going to put them down into the hopper. Now, you don't want to put them in the middle because if they're in the middle, over time it might make the middle of the car sag and you definitely don't want that. What you want to do in most cases is put the weight over the trucks. Now on that gondola you just saw, I couldn't do that. I had to put it in the middle because there was no other place to put them. But if you can, try to put the weights over the trucks and that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to put one washer right here over this truck and one washer over here over this truck. So this is really easy. I just take some CA glue and I put it on the underside of this washer. And then I'm going to place it in here and just try to center it up the best I can. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just as centered as you can get it. Like that. And then when I've got it where I need it, I'll put a few drops of the Insta Set down in there. That will set the CA glue and hold it in place. And that side's done. Easy peasy. So now we'll do the other side. Same process. And I'm going to try to center it similar to the way the other washer is done. So similar height and centered just like the other one. Like that. And now I'll just take some Insta Set, put it down in there. And there we go. And we'll give that a few seconds to set. Meanwhile, I'll put the coal load back on top. And let's bring over our scales. So it was at 14.9 ounces previously. Now, one pound, 1.7 ounces. So yeah, almost three ounces heavier. Very nice, and you can feel it. It's got a really nice weight to it now. Yeah, so when this thing's coming down the rails, that extra about three ounces is gonna give them a nice weight and they'll track very nicely when they're going around the layout. And the effect is very subtle. It's not like you're gonna look at the car and say, oh, that's got weights in it. It's just a very subtle subconscious thing. When you see these cars going around the layout, in your mind, you'll kind of notice that they're tracking very nicely through the curves and switches, and they just seem to have a heft to them that you really can't define. And this process will work on all sorts of cars, not just coal hoppers. I've added weights to tons of cars in my collection, and it always has a nice effect. So that'll do it for this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.